so another technique that we can do let's try this thing. all right so you are going to need all right you're going to need large background stamp a piece of foam I'm using this is cut and dry stamp pad foam you could also use a makeup brush and then you need gesso this is my gesso is really thick so I keep a jar of gesso plus water if your gesso is not so thick then that's not essential so you're going to basically just add add gesso to your stamp it's going to be kind of messy, don't worry about it because you're going to wash this off. And stamp. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry and come back to it. Another thing is you want to make sure that you are cleaning your stamp right after right after gesso and right after mold, modeling paste or molding paste because you don't want it to dry and ruin your stamp so I'm gonna go wash this now and come back to work on this side okay so on this side we're gonna try something else and I have this is molding paste and I'm gonna use a credit card my credit card is too big to fit in the container so what I do just cut it in half And we're going to apply a nice thick layer all over this page. Modeling paste is going to keep whatever impressions are in it. So if you want a smooth background, you got to make sure it's smooth. I don't care at this point because we're going to stamp, but just so that you know. All right, so that's good. clean off my card. You want to make sure you always wash modeling paste off of whatever tools you're using pretty quickly because once it dries it will be a pain to get it off again or it will ruin depending on what it is. Okay so we're just gonna blast this with the heat gun. I'm not actually trying to dry it the whole way through. I just want the top layer to be kind of crunchy. So a little bit dry. Now we're going to take our stamp and we're going to wet it. It would be better if you had it on mist, but mine does not want to mist. You might see a little color from the ink that was on here because I didn't wash it. Alright, and now you're going to press it into... And it's going to stick a bit. That's what the water is to make that less sticky. I'm going to try one more right here. Alright, so I'm going to let both sides of these, this is almost dry, but I'm going to let both of these dry. We're going to come back later once everything is dry. And I'm going to go right now immediately and wash my stamp just to make sure that this does not dry on it and ruin it.